Okay guys, so next up as you can see we've got this 50mm Lockton padlock, an all brass padlock with a hardened boron alloy shackle there and this is the ART500 with a beautiful little Lockton logo there as well. Uh, very kindly sent to me by Paul Springett, so Paul my friend thanks very much to uh, sending this over to me. Um, and as you can see by the uh, key bitching on this, absolutely savage. Um, it's actually got uh, KA1 there which I believe is probably the keyway there and of course as you can see we've got uh, Lockton and there on the bow of the key but that bit in is absolutely savage uh, of course it is a brand new padlock so it works absolutely beautifully and of course as you can see we actually got a uh, sort of um a uh, phillips head there so of course we can take the part the uh, lock apart if we get it picked um and that means i can show you my new pinning tray which would be wonderful um so to pick this now obviously australian lock um, now I believe they have tapered pins or maybe spool pins in um, so uh, we'll certainly find out there now of course with an Australian lock you need an Australian pick um, so I'm going to use this gem style pick which uh, Tepene very kindly made to me made for me a very few uh, few years ago um, and I don't actually use it very often it's like a, a, a 20 thousandths pick so it's ideal for this sort of uh, keyway and of course with it being an Australian pick and Australian lock I thought it'd go together hopefully it'll uh, make light work of it um, so of course we're going to use this um, tension wrench in there. Are you going to use heavy tension? Because I know what these uh, Australian locks are like. They do like heavy, heavy tension. And of course the Tepene pick. And let's see where we go. Let's just uh, release the tension. Let's get to the back of the lock and see where we go. So pin five. Okay, a little click out of five. Pin four, but let's fill with things. Pin four, pin three, pin two, and pin one solid. Okay, let's just go to pin four there. Okay, pin five is now binding. Okay, nice little click out of five. I had to fluctuate the tension a little bit there. Pin six is binding. Still binding. Okay, just got pin six there, so not too bad there really. Um, obviously, no uh, no spools in this one. Um, feels like uh, all standard pins, possibly tapered. But listen, what we'll do is uh, we'll get the nice little pinning tray over there, um, which was very kindly made by uh, RWB Yan for me. Um, and of course, we'll uh, speed this part up and we'll get the lock open and see what's inside. Okay guys, so nice and straightforward and uh, I, I do believe these uh, pins are actually tapered as well as you can just see there We've got a little taper on the top there um, And the, the secret of tapered pins is obviously just to maintain that heavy heavy tension um, The actual uh, key pins themselves aren't oops, key pins themselves aren't tapered uh, Which obviously made it a little easier as well, but we can actually uh, sort of put some spools in there and uh, Make it a little more tricky as well, but a wonderful wonderful uh, padlock and uh, Paul Thank you very much for sending it over to me nice and straightforward Straightforward, and of course, it uh, gives me a great opportunity to show off the new pinning tray from RWB Yan. So, listen, guys, thanks ever so much for your time. Nice, quick video today, and uh, have a great day. And of course, I'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks, guys.